I asked a mate when his birthday was. He said March 1st. So I stood up, walked round the room, and asked him again. <laughs> that one were from Gav Bridges. Don't forget, comment your dad jokes down below. Right, so hello again, everybody, and welcome back. Today, we're going to be looking at something a little bit different. Although it is still an Android box, it's full of retro games. Now, for a while, I've been trying different devices for retro gaming, but they've never been as easy as this one. So I'm going to show you it today. Right, so that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right, so this is the box we're going to be looking at today and it's called the Super Console X Pro. But what I will ask is comment down below your favourite retro game of all time. For me, I've got to say something like Altered Beast or Streets of Rage. But I'll be interested to see what you comment below. But yeah, if we look at the box, it's a box. Well, <laughs> that, that's it. But if you take a look inside the box, you're going to see you've got a box inside the box. And then underneath that, we've got a couple of controllers. And the best thing about this is it really is just plug and play. So these controllers are like the old PS3 style. They've got analog, they've got R1, R2. And I've always played PlayStation personally, so they feel absolutely brilliant. They have an on-off switch on the bottom. And then it can allocate if you've got player one or player two. That's another good thing with this one as well. It's plug and play, plus straight away you can have two players. Now inside the box, this inside the box, you get a few different things. And you're going to notice one of those is a remote. And this is because you can also use this box as an Android box as well. Although, me personally, I'm just using it as a retro gaming box. But that is also another option as well. And then you've obviously got the plug and a few different things in there. For me, they had to send a plug adapter. I don't know if this is because they sent it out to review. Because it did come as, I think that's European. But it is Banggood that sent this out for review. And if you are interested in looking at it, I will leave links in the description down below. And then the remotes that we've just spoke about as well. They are USB, so they simply just plug into the side and that's it. You've also got a micro SD card in there as well. I'm guessing that's what's got all the emulators and the games on the ROMs. But another good thing as well is it does come with an instruction manual. So if you're a bit clued up of how to add games to it, you can do that as well. And also as well on the back of the box, you've got a dedicated power button. And then you've got the power port as well, the HDMI the Ethernet port, and an AV. So let's get it turned on and have a look here, because there's meant to be about 50,000 games on this. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> so I'm now going to switch the box on, and this is from, this is literally just plugging it in from when it came, and this is how it loads up. Get a controller out ready. So like I say, you can load it up as an Android box, so like a streaming device, but I've left it as is. I want it just for gaming. And here we go, look. Turn the controller on on the bottom. I don't want to fast forward through it too much. I want you to be able to see how it starts up and that it is literally just plug and play. There are a couple of things that aren't the best with it as well, and we'll get into those in a moment. But as you can see, once we start up, You've got Amiga, Commodore, Amstrad, Atari 2600, another Atari, another Atari, another Atari, <laughs> Lynx, another Atari, Commodore 64, Dreamcast. They keep going across, you get kind of to my era, which is like your Game Boy. You've got Game Boy Color, Advance, Sega Genesis, Sega Master System. Nintendo 64, NES, look at the, these loads on here. PSP, you've got some PlayStation games on here as well. SNES, Snoop, Super, Snooper, <laughs> Super Nintendo. You can see this load, and these are just the actual emulators. Inside these, you've actually got games. So let's take a quick look now. And I'm going to start with Sega Genesis. So if I go here, I'm going to click the X button. It takes me through to here. And you're going to see it comes up with a huge list of games. It does look like they're in alphabetical order. And you can just keep going and going. But like I said to you, one of my favourite games is Altered Beast. 
So I'm going to click X on that. Something I have noticed with the remotes, they could do with a bit of different mapping on them because some of the buttons launch a bit different. But apart from that, you can kind of work them out. So I'm going to push the start button. Rise from your grave. Rise from your grave. I have no idea why that's on two. Why is that on two player? Oh, I think I've started the player two controller. Let me turn that off. Turn this one on. Ah, uh, yeah. So because I started that game with the controller that I set as the player two one, it actually went in as the second player. But if I change remotes now to what should be the player one remote, and it should start with just me this time. I like the sides as well, how it actually fills them with something. It looks nice. From your grave. Yeah, we're on now, look. Come on, then. Play is absolutely brilliant, and like I say, it... Nostalgia for me, this. Oh, shit, I've missed my power-up. Come here. Oh! <laughs> so, I'm going to click the start and select button at the same time twice, and that'll take me back to the game section. I'm going to click on circle to go back again. And something you can see inside here is underneath each game, so each, like, console, it tells you, such as in Sega Genesis, you've got 1,193 games under Master System 492, Game Boy Color 548. Who remembers this game? Absolutely brilliant, wasn't it? Turn volume up on that. Ah! <laughs> I can't see anything because I've got um, I've got my camera in front of it. I, I could play on this for ages. I might not make the video and stay on this all day. Let's start and select again. Quit out of that. You can see we, we can go straight into games. It's really fast and they play brilliant. And it is worth noting as well, I haven't used the analogue yet. I've been using the actual D-pad, so I'll try this with the analogue. And as you know, Sega never had an analogue, so let's see if it works. Yep, using the analogue. This takes me back this, absolutely brilliant. As you can see once again, plays mint. And it's more responsive than I expected with the controller. I expected it to have um, quite a bit of a delay, but it's actually playable. It's a playable, it's perfect <laughs> sound. So although there's nearly 50,000 games inside this console at the moment, I'm not going to be able to go through every game and show you them, obviously. But I'm guessing there might be a review video that's got a long list of the games or a place where you can look at them. But another one for me that I found awesome. I don't know if any of you were the same, but... Let me just scroll up here one sec. When I was younger, I was a massive fan of Pokemon on the Game Boy Color, and it's got them on here. And that's on the Game Boy Color. But then if we go to the Game Boy, World Cup 98, <laughs> oi, oi, you're going to see you've got Pokemon Blue version, Pokemon Red version. You've got the yellow. So that were quite cool as well. So now I'm going to try something that's a bit more modern than the Sega, so the PlayStation. It's only got 59 games inside, but Crash Bandicoot is an absolute classic, isn't it? I'm going to click on that, give it a couple of moments. I'm not going to fast forward into it so you can see how it actually loads in and things like that, and how long it takes. Like I said, these things at the sides of the screen, I think they just fill it and make it look a bit better than it just being black. So, where are we? Naughty dog. I'm going to start the game. See, you've also got an option to load the game as well. So I'm guessing, from the looks of it, you can save game data as well. The only thing is, for me, it's meant to be the X button, but it says the A button. Well, that should be select. But I'm about to press B to actually go into it. So this is where the buttons seem a bit jumbled, but I don't want to mess about with the button mapping because I don't want to mess anything up. But obviously you can get used to it. I'm using the analog stick here. We've got B to jump or circle. Play is brilliant, look. Like you can see I'm able to jump where I want to go and things. It is a good piece of kit, to be fair. Sound that, innit? Right, so we're getting to one or two more games there. I'm going to give you my thoughts and then I'm going to let you get off. 
So we're going into Dreamcast this time. Crazy Taxi. It's awesome, isn't it? <laughs> it's addictive. Hey, hey, come on over. Have some fun with Crazy Taxi. Crazy Taxi. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Reminds me of um, Crazy Tony Hawk's as well. It's party time. Let's have some fun. All right, let's go make some crazy money. Hey, 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 it's time to make some crazy money. Are you ready? Here right, so straight off the bar, I'm guessing R2 to go. Yeah, and Spear with the analog. Oh, nearly ran them over. Right here. Sorry, sorry, look. Hey! Right, so although the games I like to play, they seem to work fine, there are a couple of downfalls when it comes to this box, such as, if I go in Commodore 64... I'm going to try 007 car chase. You're going to see it, pro it loads up proper old school. This is how long it used to take. You're going to load? No. Can't be bothered to wait. What's that? So this time I'll try soccer simulators. It's football, not soccer. Isn't it? <laughs> press, so press play on tape. Something's happening. Can I control it? See what I mean? Although they're there... I don't know if I've got to wait longer or something, but it doesn't seem right. Same as on a couple of games, like I've played Lemons and I need to use it like a mouse. And I can't remember how to play Lemons anyway, to be fair. Or if I go to Mario Kart and I start this up, I've found another issue inside, such as this game. So you can see it loads absolutely fine. Kind of struggling to see where we are with it. Well, that's not even... That's just loaded a black screen up, on it? Can't see anything. But sometimes on another Mario Kart version that's inside this box, we weren't able to steer on it. We could go, we could accelerate, we could brake, but we couldn't turn. But yet, I could go on micro machines and that works absolutely fine. So, although there are 50,000 games on here, there's a lot that do have issues. But like your Sega Genesis, your Sega Mega Drive, your Game Boy stuff, Pretty much every game on the consoles I want to play have worked great. So if I jump over to the Banggood website, as you can see, the Super Console X Pro, that comes in at about £47, but this is for the 64GB version. The one I'm using with 50,000 games, I think, is the 256GB. And if I click on this, you can see that comes in around £71. Now, obviously, it's not the cheapest thing in the world, but... What I like about it is it is plug and play. If I just go a bit more down the page, this is what I mean that you can use it as a streaming device as well. And this is what the remote's for if you want to use it as this for streaming as well. Now, for me personally, I'm going to admit I actually really like this device. Pretty much all the games I've wanted to play have worked fine, apart from Mario Kart, where I couldn't steer. But I'm guessing I can play around with the settings of the buttons on the remote to fix that. But I don't want to mess around with things and mess it up for other games as well. But now I've done the review, I might have a little play with it. And there is the issue with such as you saw with Commodore 64 then. Those games weren't loading. Maybe if I sat here longer, they would work. But... It looks like a few of the games may have issues, but personally, I've not come across too many that have done that. Now, it's up to you if you're interested in this kind of thing. I will leave a link in the description down below if you want to check it out. But I just love making videos on this sort of stuff. That's the main reason for saying yes to stuff like this. Proper text me back, and I like showing me kids like the games that we used to play because they think they're absolutely dog shit. <laughs> And I'm like, what do you mean? They're awesome. But yeah, don't forget, comment down below your favourite retro game of all time and on what console. And that's it for this one, right? So I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and I'll see you soon. ta -da.